its universality, its democratic equality and constancy to its nature in seeking its own level, its vastness in the ocean of Mercator's projection, its unplumbed profundity in the Sundam Trench of the Pacific exceeding 8,000 fathoms, the restlessness of its waves and surface particles visiting in turn all points of its seaboard. I really appreciate the fact that they're, you wanted to do something different and celebrate the words of Joyce in this way and also have an outlet for some very avant-garde accordion music, you know? It was, um, yeah, the, the combination of the spoken word and the music was terrific. Every, and the, you know, it's the language of the original poetry, of course. Everything complemented each other so nicely. Um, the speaker did a really wonderful job in performing uh, the spoken word and, um, you know, <clears throat> having command over that, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's, that's a lot of uh, complicated words to, to get through. And uh, you know, he did a beautiful job getting through it and performing it and feeling it and, and uh, it, it conveying the emotion of it to us. And uh, the accordionist was, did a wonderful job playing, you know, it was a beautifully composed piece and beautifully performed. And um, the sound was captured nicely. And um, yeah, I, and I just love the how the rhythm of the music complemented the rhythm of the recitation um, as is presented in the original written text. It was really, really beautifully done. Love the black and white cinematography. I think your choice of coloration or lack thereof um, really emphasizes the the words that are being spoken and I think it helps with the pacing of the piece and it draws the viewer's attention more so to what is being said rather than what's on the screen um, in the best way possible in a way that's very cohesive um, and allows <clears throat> excuse me allows these images to act um, as as um, background or, or something to fill up uh, the spoken word. I think you took a really cinematic approach to this. Um, I think it was incredibly stylized and very cohesive and overall came together to be a really, really interesting piece. So this was a lovely presentation of the spoken word of the work of James Joyce for The Quality of Water, accompanied by accordion playing the music so well suited the speaker's words in the story of water and how it exists on our planet. There were crescendos and diminuendos to tie into the movement in the storytelling. It was very original. I really enjoyed how the players were kept seated and the camera revolved. And it was also in black and white to not distract us from the words. I liked the opening with the sounds of the writing and the different visuals really kind of was, it's almost like a filmatic opening for me. Um, I like the black and white, um, the up close of the water was really cool. So I like the different shots, the camera work was great. There was just so many close ups of the face of the, the spoken word person performing it and the musician, um, I really thought there was great performances, both with the narration and the playing of the music. Um, the phenomenon of evolution. So this, it was just really great. Uh, it was just cool. It was cool. It was different. It was uh, creative. And it felt collaborative between these people, really enjoying, you know, uh, giving life to this piece. This is 100% poetic cinematography. The monochrome, the dramatism and intensity of an accordion, the flawless voice over reciting all forms of water and all the possible words to describe water, close-ups and the main stage for this precious element, its chemistry, composition and all the forms and places it can exist. It's such richness of vocabulary to, and this becomes a true homage for our vital protagonist. Extraordinary ending into the title, how we got into the evolution through fire. It's majestic. Really poetic. I liked how um, it's black and white and we have music at times a bit discordant along with the words. I think it really 
um, works together to create this poetic landscape that we enter as an audience member. And I, I think that's really interesting.